Yes, good, excellent. Okay, so the reason my, I'm running my talk today on stock management is because uh, I'm not sure if he's here today, but I actually had an email from a gentleman um, saying help because he runs, he, well, he runs an agency and he's been setting up stores running WooCommerce and he couldn't get his stock controlling to work. It all just took a little tick in the box to actually make it work. Um, but what we've actually found is our clients, we've got many, many clients around Australia. At the moment, we don't necessarily do a lot of stuff overseas anymore. And one of the things that they actually find is that um, stock managing, looking after their inventory is really boring. Um, and they hate count counting, just like the count does. He loves counting. Um, and they think that it's really, really boring. In fact, they think counting stock can be as boring as, as bat. Uh, and I'm just, I can't say that word here because I think there's some kids in here. So we've got these pretty little droppings going down. So how many people do like keeping their inventory up to date with their WooCommerce shops? Do you find it easy? No? Yes? Okay, so a lot of people do find it very difficult to do. They find it boring and they hate doing it, but WooCommerce does it all for you. So we, when you're doing stock management, stock management for your online shops, and I am nervous today, so I do apologise, um, is really important, and it just takes just adding in the quantity for each of your products. Um, but for some people, that's very, very difficult. But WooCommerce makes it easy if you run your online shop properly and you put a tick in the box to control your stock. So, I'm just going to see if this works. No, wrong way. And once again, counting stock can be as boring as counting sheep. It makes you go to sleep. Who does stock management benefit? It benefits you. If you're a business owner, it benefits you. It benefits you because you are keeping the stock up to date. Your, your products aren't going to run out of stock um, without you knowing. Um, and it benefits your customer because they know when a product is either out of stock or you've, they can keep ordering. Um, if you don't keep those stock levels up, then you must not be in business. <laughs> uh, because if your products are suddenly out of stock and no one can buy anything, you're not making any money. Um, sorry. Now, when you're doing stock control, it can be any sort of shop. Um, we've got some family members who run various different businesses. They run businesses from doing fruit boxes, fruit and veggie boxes every week, to people selling costumes. You can have a lolly shop. You can have um, a fashion place. Uh, so regardless of the type of business that you're running, you need to have your stock control up to date. And it just means as you add a product into WooCommerce, you maintain that product quantity. It's really quite easy. So stock management can be very boring, as I said, but for every business, it's also very extremely important. So you have inventory plus stock control equals your stock, stock management. Nearly every business should have some form of stock management in place. We know lots of people who keep their inventory in a spreadsheet. But if you're running WooCommerce, you can have that as um, a product quantity. You can also do it as your variance. So for every type of product that you have, if, you have t if you're running t-shirts and you've got different sizes, you can put the quantity in. If you have different colors in those t-shirts, you can also put your quantity in. So whenever something runs out of stock, you'll get a notification to say that that's coming up, it's running out of stock, you've got to order some more in. Mouth going dry. <laughs> um, so it does benefit you and it benefits your clients. Um, and it can work with any sort of product. It can also work with your services. Um, people who um, are doing bookings and reservations, we have um, other clients who sell tickets online for events. 
Um, we also do have some who are doing tourism events in the Indigenous community. So they keep track of their tickets that they're selling for those tourists, um, for the tours that they do. Um, yeah, just trying to think what they do. Yeah, so that's what they do. So it makes your job easy. So as I said at the start, we got an, a screen for help um, in the form of an email and it's the reason that I'm here today and doing this talk because his question was, how do I get stock control to show so I can manage stock in my online shop? Because he went to put products in but he couldn't add any stock control because there was just one little tick in the box when you go into your products and inventory and you set it to global. And it's, it's really quite easy. Um, once you set that to global, you can add all your stock control in. So um, it can be as a simple product, as a variant, as a downloadable product, and in WooCommerce you can even do drop shipping products now as well. Um, the other way is that you can manage inventory in your or your stock control is through um, point of sales, through Vend and Square, and you can also use your accounting system, Xero or QuickBooks, because you can also set up inventories through there as well. So you can actually integrate those into your WooCommerce store. Um, we have done Vend before. Um, Vend is really quite interesting because we have various clients who use Vend. They have all their products in there and you use a Vend um, plugin that integrates all your products that you have in Vend over to your WooCommerce store, but then you work on your, on your stock over here and you can keep your quantities up to date as well. And you can do that all from, from WooCommerce. And then it goes back to Vend. So you can update everything in WooCommerce and not even go back to Vend if you don't want to. Ah, oh dear, excuse me. So, to get to that spot where I was telling you about, you need to log into your admin area. So has anyone ever worked with WooCommerce where you have to manage your stock control? Has it, you have? Yeah, great. Okay, so you click on WooCommerce and you go into settings. And then you go for products and then you click on inventory. Now this is the question, this was so easy for him to fix once we worked it out for him. And there is a section there that says manage stock. And once you put that ticket in the box for enable stock management, you can start working within your shop and controlling your stock management and your, your inventory. But always remember to save, because if you don't save, it's not going to, to work for you. So this will actually enable your stock uh, management globally. So it's not just for one product. So if you just want to manage stock just for one product and not the rest, unfortunately, you just can't do that. You've got to, it, you've got to work with it. And if you don't want to worry about your quantities for all the other products, you still need to put a tick in that box. Now, when we're also working with stock, You've also got to remember about the products that you buy or, or a customer comes along and buys because it's going to take away that product from your quantity. And what I've found is you can do this two ways. If you want a, a product to, or an order to be cancelled out after a certain period of time because they haven't paid, so it goes back to stock, allow them time because if you've got a direct deposit section on there, some payments take three days to show up. So if you put about 4,320 minutes in there, you should be right. And if not, leave it at naught. But then you have to make sure that you've checked to see whether that person is gonna go through that order or not. Because you want it back in stock. You don't want that out of stock. Um, you can also do your notifications for um, your stock notifications. So for example, we run online shops as well. Um, I want to make sure I get those low stock notifications, so I usually have it set to two, um, and also enable out of stock notifications. So if a product is completely out of stock, you want to know about it as well. You need to be up on top of it. Um, and I generally hide out of stock items from the catalogue. 
However, we have some clients who prefer to leave that unticked so that they can continue ordering, so they can back order those products. And then that way they're still getting paid for it. You can also um, set up your stock display format. So always show quantity remaining in stock. So if it is becoming low in stock, the customer who comes along next time will see how many is in stock. I mean, they might want to buy 20, but you've only got 12. So at least they know. So you can handle lots of things from within WooCommerce. Um, you can have another section there that says only show quantity remaining in stock when it's low. Um, so if there's only two left, you can show that as well. You don't have to show that at all. You just mark it as out of stock. Um, enabling stock management allows you to manage your stock, your products, event tickets, and so much more in various ways. So it depends on what you are selling, what services you are selling, you may be selling partial portions of your time. So it, it just depends on what you're selling. You can actually set your stock management up. So if we went into a simple product, so for those who are only just starting out in WooCommerce and you don't know what a simple product is, it's, just a, it's, it's a product that doesn't have any attributes or variants. So it may be just a white T-shirt. There's only one size. There's no different colours, it's just white. So you set up your inventory and your SKU because you need to have that. And there's a tick in the box there that you can actually manage um, your stock management as well. So if you've got no other products, no with sizes or anything else, you can just manage it straight from your product. So when you're in simple product, even, you still need that box tick to have that in there so that you can manage, because you might have 20 white T-shirts, all one size, there's no varying colours, but just do want to manage your stock. You can have it in stock, so you can show it's in stock, or you can also allow them to just buy one off. So if you don't want them to have more than one white T-shirt in size large, that's all you do. You have to just tick that, because you're only going to allow them to buy one. And that's where it is there as well. So we've got our SKU, we've got enable stock management. I've got four. We're not going to allow back orders. And the low threshold is two. So once, I, once I've sold two, it's going to notify me that I've got two left. And they can buy more than one if they want to, unless it's out of stock. You can also do it as a variable product. Does anyone know what a variable product is? <coughs> So you can have different colours, you can have different sizes, different shapes. You can have a T-shirt that's got three sleeves, for Pete's sake. Um, you can do whatever you like, as long as you set it as a variable product. So you would, um, you can give it an SKU as you like, if you like, because you can add to that. Um, enable the stock product if you want to. So if you just want to say, for example, I have 100 pieces, and you put it in your stock quantity, you can just leave it as that, but it's not going to manage your quantities properly. But if you go through and set up your attributes so that you can do your variations, you can then manage stock. So you, once you've got your variations set up, you can actually, I'm pointing to this and you can't see what I'm pointing to, um, you put a tick in the box for manage stock once you're in your variations and it allows you to put in how many pieces you have of that stock. So if it's a size large white t-shirt, you can actually put it in there. And then if you've got a blue one, you can have the same thing. So you can have 15 pieces of the white t-shirt and you could have 20 pieces of the blue. And then you can even do it in the different sizes as well. As you can see, the, stock man the manage stock button is ticked and then you can put your quantities in there, and then you can also say, do I want to allow back orders or not? And I've just kept going through so you can see I can do it for various different things. And for example, we've got a steampunk choker, which one my sister sells. We've got two in stock. We can set the quantity, and because she's got several different colours, we've got a drop down there, and each time if I was to buy one of each colour, it would actually just take the stock off my quantity.
If you're managing your stock and you think, oh, I don't have time, um, you can use Quick Edit. So you can actually choose numerous different um, products at one time if you want to update them all very quickly. Um, in this case, I've just done the one. So you can quick edit the stock just by hovering over instead of going edit, just go quick edit. It'll allow you to update your stock, your, your stock quantity. And then just remember to update. That's just a follow on for that one. Um, and that's it. I have no more to say. That was quick. I must have been very nervous. <laughs> Awesome, thank you very much. <laughs> Any questions? It was longer. <laughs> Any questions on this? Is there any easy way when you've got like two sister sites selling exactly the same product from the same place so that one talks to the other? I haven't seen a plugin that would do that yet. I wish we did. I'll have to ask. Might have to get one custom made. Thanks. Interesting one. We've got a client who's actually got uh, three warehouses around the world, and we've positioned where we're building a WooCommerce shopping cart with dropshipping, so it can work out the the postage and everything um, where the, based on where the warehouse is. However, they only list each product once. How can, is it possible for the, the stock management to reflect what's actually at the warehouse end? Not just at the product level. Not just at the product level. Mm. Uh, are they using the same system? Same website for all three. Okay, so that would be the same as using a POS system. Like, mm -hmm. for example, um, Vend yes. will allow you to set up different locations. Mm -hmm. And you've got your quantities here, so mm -hmm. your inventory is sitting in your POS. Mm -hmm. And once you update that, as long as you have your other locations set up, mm -hmm. it will update them. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I would have a look at that and just see if the system is set like that because you can set up li different locations. And it's the same as um, Square. Mm -hmm. If you're running a POS system mm -hmm. and you have all your products in there with your inventory set up in there, it should update your loc the, the quantities mm -hmm. as someone buys something. Based from the location it's coming from. That's right. Even though it's listed once on the website. That's right. Perfect. Thank you. Hi, so when you manage the stock, do you export it out to a spreadsheet and back end, or do you just go onto the site and manage it that way? So what were you, sorry, what was that you were saying? Oh, when you manage the stock levels, do you export it out onto a spreadsheet and then it import it back on, in? It depends on how you're doing it. If you've only got a few products, you can do it within your website itself by going, you could even do a bulk edit for your quantities, or you can actually export your products if you're doing a major upload, change all the quantities and then re-upload it. And you can do that from within your product area now. So you can export all of those in a bulk up, bulk download and then just bulk upload them if you've got thousands of products, hundreds of products. If not, just do it on your website and do it as a bulk edit through list. You can actually tick what products you want to update and then go edit, bulk edit. If you want me to show you later, I can. Hi, Tony. Um, is there a way to manage um, or integrate WooCommerce into eBay and Amazon so that you manage yes. all your stock levels through WooCommerce and all the product information? WooCommerce like images? has a plugin called, um, it's for Amazon and eBay. So if you go to WooCommerce.com, they actually have a plugin there for eBay and Amazon. It's a plugin, just one. So I'd have a look at that. Um, my question is, what reporting tools do you use for, um, for your clients? What reporting tools? Yeah, at any um, time you don't want to take a snapshot of the inventory or um, Well, generally our clients work with their own products, so we, mm. we show them how to update 
their own quantities, mm. so they know what products they have. So they only have to look within their um, WordPress website to have a look to see what products they have, or they can download it as a, you know, as a spreadsheet and have a look at it that way. It's, it's entirely up to them. They can run their own reports through WooCommerce, but we don't tend to look after their reports because they do it themselves. So. I'll get him first. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, have you ever experienced like integration between the stock management in WooCommerce and the accounting system, like a MyOB inventory system? I haven't come across the MyOB uh, one, but I have certainly seen the Zero one and yeah. Vend and QuickBooks. Oh, yes. right. Is it, do you have any solution or just plug in that I can use? Or? Usually there's a plugin for most things, so yeah. I would have a look online to see if there's one for MYOB because I have never had to look for one. All right. Yeah. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Zapier, I think, actually does a lot of those sorts of things as well. So have a look on there. Hmm. Oh my gosh, <laughs> all the way out the back corner. <laughs> I, hope it work. I hope it's worth it. Hard to um, hear you. Hi Tony, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Um, what's your recommendation for advanced stock plugins? Advanced stock plugins? So for really large stores where they want to say, see the stock all in one view or manage the stock without actually having to go. So for example, Christmas sales, the company might want to actually just be able to change the stock you know, in one mm. um, view rather than having to go in and out of plugins all the time. And if you had any experience with sort of, besides your sort of default Woo stock management, any other plugin recommendations that are worth looking into? I really haven't had to use any other except for, I, I did buy one to do all my bulk uploading and then found out that WooCommerce will allow me to do everything anyway after we bought the license for it. So. Um, I haven't used any advanced ones because we really haven't had to. WooCommerce seems to be able to do a lot of things and if you're working with um, bigger systems like Vend and Square and you have your inventory already set up in those, usually that's where you would manage it anyway and that updates it all. Uh, hi Tony, uh, Dave. Um, I've been kind of racking my brain over the last 20, 30 minutes how this would work. I, I do use the uh, WooCommerce in inventory component, um, but it's only for items. I have 220 odd items, but I don't always stock them. So I sell mm -hmm. products that I don't have in stock mm -hmm. and I use my inventory through Zero, which works beautifully with um, WooCommerce. Um, so I'm just wondering how there's adjustments made if you're you know, doing a stock take um, you find you're down a couple of items. I guess the financial transaction needs to be done through your accounting package to make that adjustment. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we did have a question about zero and a lot of the things, for example, had to be done within zero. Um, I don't like zero either, but there are other systems that I prefer to use. Um, zero seems to be the hardest and you do have to use the account. Yeah, I'm, side I'm a lover of zero. It works beautifully for me. Mm. Um, I can understand applications where people have that stock in their shop and they're selling it. Yeah. And that would probably work quite well for them. Um, and I'm just trying to work out how I phrase this question to you. That's what I was just racking through my brain. That's so, okay. um, yeah, my reliance is very much on the zero side of things for yeah. inventory. Um, I can't put that order across to um, zero. Mm. Um, unless I've got that stock item in there. Yeah. So I can't complete that order until it's in there because the, it's reliant on that. So, um, but anyway, thanks for the presentation. Not a problem, sorry I couldn't help you. 